Welcome everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia. Today, uh, sharing with you my Hydromech excavator and the hydrostatic drive in it. So not many excavators have uh, hydrostatic drives in them. Mostly they are brushless motors connected to a gearbox and you get a fair bit of torque. Now this particular machine, the Hydromech, is completely hydraulically driven and I've got a hydrostatic drive up here. Um, I had some issues with the dirt and everything, so I've just pulled the tracks off and I thought since I've done that, I might as well share, um, you know, the bit of the drive with you guys. So basically, you can actually see up here, let me get it closer. So on this one, you can see that there's two hoses up here. Let me see if I can get that into focus. Okay, there we are. They are, we are into focus. There's um, two hoses up here and one brings in oil, one takes in oil. The machine actually has a, a rotary valve because the oil has to come from the car body up here uh, and then it actually has to go through a rotary valve so that it can feed endless oil supply to these two track drives. Now um, the tracks, any of these tracks, if you guys are pulling them out, the best thing you want to do is actually put a cable tie. To compress the tracks completely because if you compress the tracks you're not putting a lot of strain while you take the pin out you know here's the pin so you want to compress the track because there is a spring let me show you on this side get into focus there's a spring on the idle of wheel up here let's see if I can push it in you can probably see there's a bit of pressure in there so um you know if you if you you need to compress the tracks completely using cable ties and only then try to take the pin out because if you try to take the pin out directly while this thing is under under pressure because the idler wheel is pushing and keeping tension on the tracks itself uh there's good chance because these tracks are cast you're actually going to break the track especially when the pin comes out from one end um uh, of this uh, one end of the link so you know you got I'll bring this in focus so you got two links up here so when the pin is actually when you're trying to push the pin and you got a lot of tension so the moment it comes out of one pin so get into focus okay if you pull it out of one pin then it's it'll gonna bend and you're gonna break the track so if you want to do any track maintenance make sure that you you put something to compress the tracks so that there's no pressure from this particular wheel at this end up here and then you can take the pin out. So uh, I hooked the battery up. You can probably hear the servo uh, hum in the background. And I'm going to show you. Make sure that I get the uh, start the pump first. Uh, I want to show you the speed of this actual drive. So that's the hydraulic pump started in. Okay, that's the wrong track. There you go. So you can see. This is at full speed, of course, I can increase the pump top. I think the oil may be a bit slightly less in my track driver and in my, in my tank. Because that is very erratic up there, I need to check. So it seems to be... Seems to be going all right. There's a lot of talk in there. I can't really hold it with my hand. So this seems like under load, this track seems to perform pretty well. But the moment there is no load, it, it's a bit erratic. At least I can hear the pump RPM. Let's try that. Okay, looks pretty normal. It doesn't sound all that normal as the first time I've actually noticed that because I don't really run my pump at such a high rev. But uh, what I'm trying to show you here is uh, there's a lot of track on this hydrostatic drives and it pretty much simulates like the real machine. Once in a way, it's good to give it a good clean with compressed air so that you're taking away all the fine grit inside the tracks up there. This gives it better life. So that's all I had to share in this video, guys. As usual, if you have any question or remarks, um, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. I'll stop the hydraulics there. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.